Well, hello, friend. I'm getting a few things together for the 4th of July, and I thought, you know what? These are really good recipes. I should share them with you guys. So I made myself a margarita, and I've gathered all my ingredients. This is gonna be a quick one, so I'm just gonna go ahead and show you all the fabulous summer salads that I have to share. Let's get cooking. All right, so this first recipe is for a pasta salad. Anybody that lives in the Memphis area has probably been to Bogey's, which is an amazing deli here, and they make the most incredible pasta salad. And through the years, I've been trying to make their recipe. I don't have it exactly down, but it's pretty close. I'm gonna show you guys how I make my own version of this pasta salad, and how one time when I was actually out of a certain ingredient, I substitute it for something else, and now oh, it's the best ever. So I'm gonna share with you how to make my incredible bogey style pasta salad with a kick. We're gonna start with four cups of cavatappi noodles. It's these like macaroni kind of style noodles that have the hole in them, but they're They're like a little spiral. They're so good. These are really, really good. And then two cups of penne pasta. Now you can use any type of pasta that you want. So I'm just gonna do two cups of penne, four cups of the cavatappi. I'm gonna bring this back to a boil, and then I'm gonna let this cook for 11 minutes. Okay, so while the pasta's cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and prep all the vegetables that are gonna go in this. So the very first thing you're gonna need is a cucumber. Now you can do a whole cucumber if you are just, you know, in love with cucumbers. I like cucumbers, but they can also be a little bit overpowering. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do half of a cucumber. All right, so for this cucumber, what I'm gonna do is you do not have to peel this. I just like to peel it. And then you're gonna cut it in half. And then we're just gonna scrape out these seeds. I'm just gonna take a spoon. I'm just gonna scrape down so I can clean out all those seeds. Now, if you love seeds and you love skin, leave it all in there. I don't care. Whatever makes you happy. And then I am just going to dice this up into small little pieces. The original recipe, and if you don't want it spicy, you would just want to chop up a large tomato. But since I'm making mine with a little kick, I'm not gonna use that tomato for this recipe. I'm just gonna chop up, I just did three green onions. And same thing as I did with cucumber, I'm just gonna throw that into that mixing bowl. So, <laughs> the pasta's done and a little hot, but I have strained all the water out now, I'm just gonna put it in this big glass mixing bowl and I'm gonna put this, can you see me? I'm gonna put this in the refrigerator. <laughs> I'm gonna put this in the refrigerator and let it cool down a bit before we start putting other things in. This is some hot pasta. Okay, so while that pasta cools down a little bit, I'm gonna go ahead and start doing the prep work for the next thing that I'm making, which is so good. You're gonna love this one. So it's called confetti corn salad. And one of my very good friends, Amber, her mom always made this. And actually my friend Amber's birthday is the 4th of July. So we always would go to her parents' house to celebrate the 4th and her birthday. And her mom would always make this and of course gave me the recipe. So I'm gonna share it with you guys. This is so good. You could eat this like a salad. You could eat this on lettuce, like on a salad, or you can eat it with corn chips and it's so good. You're gonna like it. All right, so the very first thing that we have to do is we have to make the dressing for this. It's super easy. It is just apple cider vinegar. Get the good stuff. Bragg's is the best. It's so good. It's organic, raw, and filtered with to get this stuff, it's really, really good. And to make sure that this is not too healthy, sugar. 
I'm gonna put a fourth of a cup eighth of a cup and an eighth of a cup which is a fourth of a cup now if you're not a big sugar fan you can always use a sugar substitute like stevia or something like that or if you wanted to use honey I'm sure honey would be fine this is just the way that she makes it so this is the way that I make it and then we're gonna do half a cup of apple cider vinegar. And we're just going to let these two things hang out, get to know each other, become one. And then we'll start adding the other ingredients. You can give this a little stir, help them become united a little bit quicker. And then we're just going to leave this to the side. And now I need to cut up some veggies. All right, so we're gonna start with a large green bell pepper. And then the way that I like to do my bell peppers when I'm cutting them, which everybody has their little way, I like to cut it almost like a little arch. And what that does is it keeps me from getting those seeds everywhere. Minimal seeds here very few seeds I mean literally five seeds and so we're just gonna dice this up okay so I finished cutting up my bell pepper Let's see and now I'm gonna use the other half of that cucumber and I'm gonna do exactly like I did before peel it seed it de-seed it scrape the seeds out and then chop it up and put it in with the bell pepper. Now, I'm just gonna use half of this onion But what I'm going to do to kind of help with these onions, I'm going to go ahead and just drop them right into that dressing. And that'll just help those soften up. And the sweetness of that dressing is going to help balance out that kick of that onion. Gonna chop up this uh, this tomato. It always helps to have a very sharp knife when cutting up for tomatoes. Otherwise, you end up smushing them. All right. So the next thing that you're gonna need is you're gonna need a can of black beans drained, a can of golden corn, and a can of white shoe peg corn. And we're gonna drain all of these before we put them in with everything else. Now, you are going to want to rinse these black beans before you add them to the salad. And this is my favorite little colander. This is from Pampered Chef, but I'm sure they have other things similar to it. Um, but what I love about it is it has slits in it instead of holes, so you can do things like corn and beans and they won't fall through. Uh, the other thing I love is that on the inside, it also works as a measuring cup. So it has the measurements on the inside. This thing's awesome. I'll try to find this one and link it below. If I can't find this exact one, I'll find something very similar and put it in the description below. I'll also put the recipes for both of these salads in the description below. All right, so one can of drained and rinsed black beans. So next goes my golden corn. And then my shoe peg corn. Again, I'm not gonna worry about draining it. I mean, you can see on here, there's there's not a lot of liquid. And I'm just gonna dump that into the bowl as well. Now the recipe calls for one small jar of pimentos. And of course, I have a large jar of pimentos. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna scoop out. Oh, goodness gracious. That was intense. 
my hand. That was crazy. This is a medium sized jar, so I'm gonna scoop out half of this and just add that to the bowl. Had to bring in the big guy. This little bowl wasn't cutting it. I mean, I'm sure this bowl will be fine to put the salad back into, but while I'm trying to stir it, make my life easier. Scrape everything into the Big Daddy. All right, so I'm just gonna mix everything up. Look how pretty it already is. Look at that. And now I'm gonna take, this is the onions and tomatoes, and then that dressing, and then of course, all of that sugar. I'm gonna stir that up. Make sure that, st that sugar comes with it. Oh my gosh, I wish you guys could smell this. It smells so good. Now both of these salads are the type of salads that get better, you know, each day. They do need to sit and kind of, all the flavors need to marry. Oh my gosh, my mouth is watering. It is really, really hard to wait. Look how gorgeous that is. Oh, it's so pretty. Love all the colors. All right, so this salad is done. All we need to do now, add a little bit of salt and pepper to taste. Don't add anything until it's had time to kind of come together a little bit. And then if I feel like it needs a little bit of salt, I'll add it. But most of the time I eat this with corn chips and so the salt from that is more than enough salt. Okay, so now that we have the confetti corn salad chilling in the refrigerator for a few hours, I'm gonna go ahead and get finished on the pasta salad. So, I'll be honest, I don't know the exact measurements of things because again, I've always just eyeballed it. So we're gonna work through this together and we're gonna figure out exactly how much mayonnaise we need to use. We're gonna start with half a cup and we'll see how that goes. After this pasta has been chilled, it's going to want to stick together. So trying to stir it isn't always the best method. A lot of times I like to get in here with the tongs because tongs are the greatest utensil ever and because they help me break apart the noodles. So I'm thinking we're going to need some more mayo. Before we add more mayonnaise, we need to add our secret ingredient. Rotel. One thing I like to do with my Rotel is I like to reserve the liquid. So instead of just, you know, draining this off into the sink, I like to reserve this liquid. And sometimes I'll pour some of this liquid in if the pasta is a little too dry, especially if I don't want to add a whole lot more mayonnaise. This will just kind of help stretch that mayonnaise a little bit farther. And this is going to give it the most amazing flavor and kick. And now we're going to go in and add cucumber and those green onions. Now at this point I think it would be completely fine to just leave it with this amount of mayonnaise, but I like a little bit more, just an eighth of a cup more. Nothing crazy y'all, just, it just needs a smidge more, that's all. Eighth of a cup is not the end of the world. And I'm just going to take some of that. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and pour the whole thing in.
All right, so here's our, this is our 4th of July meal that we're having to celebrate early because Corey has to work July 3rd and 4th. But here is the finish confetti corn salad, which I actually put tortilla chips with mine because it's really good as a dip. And then there is that pasta salad. These are so good. I hope you guys try it. You will love it. If you try any of my recipes, be sure to let me know. I'd love to hear what you guys think. If you have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comments below. And as always, I appreciate you guys watching my videos. If you haven't had a chance, I would love it if you give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.